Hey guys, so question 1a. The points a, b and c have position vectors 1, 2, 3, 2, 4, 5 and 4, 5, 6 respectively. Find the equation of the plane passing through these three points in, first of all, we'll look at vector form. So question 1a, i. So we're given three points in space, a, b, c, and I hope you can imagine for any three points given, there's going to be a plane that goes through those three points. If we're given two points, then we can find a line that goes through those two points. Sorry. Um, if we're given a, two points, we can find a line. If we're given three points, we can find a plane such that these are all on the same plane. And this plane is unique to these three points in the sense that there's only one plane that will go through all three points. And this is the plane we're trying to find. So how do we go about doing that? Well, the idea is I want to solve for a point R. So from the origin, this is the origin, and this is a point R on my plane. And this has coordinates x, y, z. So we draw a vector connecting O to R, and we call this vector R. And it's a position vector. It has coordinates x, y, z. Then what we do is we take a point on the plane, either A, B, or C, we draw a vector from the origin to a point, we'll call that vector A. Okay, that should have been a straight line, I apologize. And the point is that we want to find the vector R minus A. So R minus A will look like this. We'll go from A to R. This is the vector R minus A. We go down A and up R and that will take us from A to R. And notice this vector must be on the plane. So if we can find a normal vector, if we can find a normal vector, unit or any normal vector, it doesn't matter, and we dot N dotted with R minus A. If R minus A is on the plane and N is normal to the plane, these are perpendicular and hence this scalar product must equal zero. And that's what we're trying to find. We need to find, so the first thing we need to do is find n, and the second thing we need to do is find a. And r, remember, is just x, y, z. We're going to solve all the x, y, z's that satisfy this vector equation, and all those x, y, z's will lie on this plane, which is infinitely big, and passes through the points a, b, and c. So how do we go about it? So as we can see, we need the normal, and we need A. Well, A is easy enough. The vector A is easy enough. It's the position vector from the origin to the point A. And A has position vector has position 1, 2, 3. So the vector will be 1, 2, 3. Or I plus 2J plus 3K. And bear in mind, we didn't have to just choose this point A. We could have chosen B or C. B or C, and it will actually work for all of them, and I encourage you to try for all of them. Anyway, that's easy enough. So we've got what we need here. We've got A. Now we need N. So that's where it's a bit tricky. So N is a vector perpendicular to the plane. So what we want to do is find a vector A to B. We'll call this U, and that equals A to B, and then we want to find a vector from A to C, which is V, and this is the vector AC. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we know that the normal is perpendicular to both these vectors, hence we can take the cross product of U and V, and that will give us a normal vector. So the first thing is to find U and to find V. Well, u is equal to a, b, so it's the point b minus a. So, 2, 4, 5 minus 1, 2, 3. So, this vector will be, I'll write it in i, j, k notation, 2 minus 1, so i, 4 minus 2, so plus 2, j, 5 minus 3, so plus 2, k. v is equal to a, c which is 4, 5, 6, minus 1, 2, 3. 4, 5, 6, minus 1, 2, 3, 
that's equal to 4 minus 1, 3i, 5 minus 2, 3j, and 6 minus 3, 3k. Okay, so that's the two vectors, u and v, they're both on the plane. So to find the normal, we just need to take the cross product of these. Whoops, sorry. So the normal vector will equal to, sorry, bad color there, I'll try and make it a bit lighter. So the normal vector is equal to u crossed with v, which is i, j, k, so normal way we do cross product, 1, 2, 2, and 3, 3, 3. Okay, so that's equal to i, 2 times 3 is 6, minus 2 times 3 is 6, minus j, always remember the minus for the j component, 1 times 3 is 3, minus 3 times 2 is 6, plus k, oops, plus k, 1 times 3 is 3, minus 3 times 2 is 6, so that's equal to 0i, 3 minus 6 is negative 3, but I've got a 3 here, so, uh, sorry, a negative there, so it's 3j, and negative 3k. Okay, so that's my normal vector. My normal vector is equal to 0, 3, negative 3. So let's go back to our vector equation here, n dot r, sorry, n dotted with r minus a, so that's going to be, so, n dotted with r minus a equal to 0 will be 0, 3, negative 3 dotted with r minus, what's a? a was here, 1, 2, 3, r minus 1, 2, 3 and that has to equal 0. Or we can rewrite that over here. This is, could be n dotted with r minus n dotted with a equal to 0, which we can rewrite as n dotted with r has to equal n, oops, n dotted with a. Just bringing that to that side, to the right hand side. So rewriting it like that, 0, 3, negative 3, dotted with r is equal to 0, 3, negative 3, dotted with 1, 2, 3. So 0, 3, negative 3, dotted with r is equal to 0 times 1 is 0, plus 3 times 2 is 6, minus 9, so negative 3. And then we have it. That is the vector equation of a plane. So vector equation of a plane. Okay, in the next video we'll look at how to find the Cartesian and parametric form.